Now, also, um, yeah, we've had all this sort of uh, hullabaloo and discussion in the news about Safaricom's security contract with the government. I mean, <laughs> I, I would have thought you'd become a very central figure in all of this when you listen to what everybody's saying. What's the state of play with that? And first of all, what was that about? I mean, what were you providing to the government which was of value to them? And what were they providing to you? It's very simple. We're, we're building a, a distinct network for them which works on a different set of frequency, yes. 400 megahertz. Yes. That, that's um, and and it's no secure at 400 then? It's much more secure. Yes. It's, it's an LTE network. Yeah. And we don't even have an LTE uh, commercial deployment here. So the level of encryption on LTE is much greater than on 3G. Uh, and then there's no commercial deployment, so no one else can use it. It, it can only be for, for the government of Kenya. So we'll build that network yes. um, in two cities, Mombasa and Nairobi. We will then provide um, handheld units, and the handheld units are like ultra smartphones. Mm. Right? So they have video capability, voice capability, remote activation capability, yes. so you can turn it on from a central place. So this could be transformative? For it is intended to be transformative, yeah. yeah. It's intended to be transformative. And then we'll put up a bunch of cameras. Yes. We're still trying to figure out exactly how many cameras, um, but uh, a few thousand cameras mm. in strategic locations. All hooked up. All hooked up mm. to a central control unit, which again we will build. So it's about building that and it's about yes. managing it, not operating it. Yes. And when so operating it, we're not the users. The yes. users is, is the security mm. services, you know, the police and, and whoever else. Um, and so it is no different to building any other mobile network. In fact, relatively small compared yes. to the 4,000 sites or so that we, we have today. Um, that will be uh, around about 80, 80 to 100 sites. Um, and that's it. And we provide, we provide internet connectivity to a, a couple of hundred police stations as well. So um, it's, people say, you know, you become a, what does Safari come know about being a, a security provider? But, you, you, but you're not the operator, you're not operating. We're not, we're not doing a security thing, we're building a network. And yes. there's nobody, you know, and forgive the, the, the kind of the arrogance, that yes. <laughs> but there's nobody in this country, or there's nobody in this region yes. who knows more about building a network than Safari Com. So that was why the government came. I think the other reason why the government came was because they felt that, you know, if the, <laughs> there, there's no way the safari company is going to get involved in any kind of unethical deal. Yes. Right? Yeah. Number one, I sit on the UN Global Compact Board. Yes. I'm one of the board members who is charged with driving ethics and corruption mm. in business. Number two, we've got another shareholder yes. who is a British company. Mm. And, you know, that's, which means we're governed by the British anti-bribery law. Which is very and if you think that the Foreign and Corrupt Practice Act is, is harsh in the UK, mm. in the US, yes. in the UK is a lot worse. Mm. And so clearly we can't. And you, I mean, you know my mm. position on, on ethics. And so very I think strong. government felt that, you know, if this contract went to Sparkham, at least, um, you know, it will be managed ethically and competently. Of course, politics, um, politics has a life of its own and it has consequently yeah. delayed the project because nothing uh, ha really happened between, I think, June yes. when the Hula Baloo started and uh, in August when Parliament finally gave their approval. Um, but then now we now go into the negotiation of the contract because the contract has not been signed yet. And it will be four months elapsed time before yes. we start to see and Before the urgency around it was around counter-terrorism, was that the driver? It's terrorism, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's counter-terrorism as well as, um, you know, ordinary safety and security. Of the citizens. Uh, so, I mean, you know, you've been victim more than once yes, of street side crime. Yes. Um, in very prominent places here. That's right. Uh, so, you know, it, it kind of closes a lot of that stuff down. You, you, you live in London, you know what it was like before they put uh, security right. cameras in Oxford Street. Now you can walk with Ox in Oxford Street with your, your wallet in full view. No one's going to take it because they know they're being watched. Mm -hmm.